quick visit I made to a thoroughbred breeding farm. Um, I'm here to uh, get this colt started on the halter. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to prepare him for the halter. And by doing that, I'm going to use a rope. First of all, I'm starting to touch him, get him to try to get him to know me a little bit. This horse is pretty feisty. He's kicked his owner already a time or two. And uh, you can see he's a handful. One of these little colts, he'll hurt you. Uh, he's only three months old, but that kick will break your finger. Boy, that was close. Anyways, uh, you can see he, he, he does have a lot of energy in him and he's pretty independent. It, actually, it's a filly. And this little filly, she is bred for racing. Okay. And my time here is limited. So I'm just, just came in to, to work this little filly just for an hour or so. And hopefully less than that. And actually, it ended up taking me 12 minutes to get this halter on her. And YouTube only gives us 10. So you're going to see what uh, I'm going to try not to cut anything out or as much as possible not to cut out. Here we go, boy. This is all normal, okay? <clears throat> this is normal. She's throwing a fit. She hasn't really been pulled or pushed around anybody, you know, with anybody having uh, not not touched her. So uh, this is pretty much her first time in anybody doing anything with her, okay? And she has been a handful, and that's pretty good right there. She got the feel of that rope going from the right side and on the left side. She did it all on her own. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm just going to try to let her figure this out by herself. Okay, I, I don't want to put too much stress on her. Um, we do have to doctor her. So uh, we're, we're trying to, to uh, put the least amount of stress on her as possible. Okay, and uh, we'll see how this goes. And I'm starting to use, I use her mom as a, as a bumper kind of like a bumper cart right there whenever she wants to run and I let her bump into her mom instead of bumping into the fence or anything else. And her mom is her comfort zone. So um, I let her try to go back to that. But I also want her to know right there, you can see me just giving those slight tugs. I want her to know that I'm in control. I'm in charge now. I'm the one calling the shots. Okay. So, you know, she's still, still running and jumping and playing here. Now we have a lot going on in the background. There's some stallions moving back there and they're moving some panels and, and there's some other horses moving in the back. Like I said, this is a, a breeding farm for thoroughbreds, racing thoroughbreds. And uh, I have a lot of, there's a lot of people in the background <clears throat> and the horses on the other side of us, they're running back and forth in their pens too, which is causing a lot of this. It'd be a, would have been a lot nicer to have it quiet, but we can't always choose what happens. So we just do the best with what we can. And we're starting. That was a that was the very very first uh, indication or sign that she gave me there that she wants to kind of start working with me a little bit. She just let me rub her there real quick. You see. Now I'm giving her time. I try to give her as much time as I possibly can. So that's not to stress her. And there she goes, throwing another little tantrum, and it's okay. And this is all normal for these little colts. You know, it, it ends. And when it ends, um, it's really nice. I, I'd rather do it this way than, than try to get her forced into a corner and, and put a halter on her. And, uh, and I think that causes a lot more stress sometimes than, than this way. And this way, uh, whenever I come back the next time, or if I get to see her another time, um, and I do start to work with her with a halter. Well, I, I know what I have, and I, I know what she's uh, capable of. So um, she, she'll be a lot easier, a lot, lot easier. Uh, the first time is always the hardest to do. Okay. I use this small line because I found that if, if uh, sometimes if you put a halter on them or, and uh, right away, Sometimes they'll try to flip with you, and that's that, that's pretty hard. And I, I don't want to be pulling on her head too much. And, uh, there's a lot that's uh, there's a lot more that she's learned this way than if we just kind of go to dragging her and put a butt rope on her. You can see her throwing her tantrums right there. She's getting mad. 
pretty upset, got her tail wound up. And I'm just going to let her finish throwing her tantrum and let her work it out by herself. It'll come. Give her time. There we go. Good. A nice, nice shake it off. She's shaking it off. She's starting to think. See, here it comes. Yeah, a good sign right there. She's starting to smell the rope, see what's going on. Plus, this gives them a feel of the rope or the line. It's a line, a small line, but same thing. It all works the same. So, I'm just going to give her a little bit more time here and just let her stop and think about this. There we go. She's thinking, and she lets me approach her. But not quite ready for a rub. I'll let her come back to mama if she wants to. Finally, there we go. First rub. Nice rub. Nice, nice, nice rub. That's what I'm looking for right there. Okay. And we're just going to continue to rub her. Her tail, she's not real happy with it. You can see her tail waggling and waggling back there. You know. But she's not that uncomfortable with it. Okay, now this is my window of opportunity right here. She's... She's liking what I'm doing, and she's letting me pet her, and rubbing her all over, and uh, and so right now, here in just a, just a little bit, she's going to open up to me, and I'll be able to to slide this halter over her over her head, and that's about all I'm looking for for the moment. Okay, and we're just trying to get her a little bit more used to her, make sure that she's giving to me. She is, he's letting me rub her. Now I'm getting the rope. I'm going to prepare the rope, prepare her with a rope. There we go. All right. Okay. Now I get ready to put the halter on, and I find that this halter is a brand new halter, and it still has some straps tied onto it, and I'm in, unable to do these straps. So prepare your equipment before you start this. Here, I've been doing this for about 15 years, and <laughs> it's kind of doesn't look real good right now, you know, I don't have my, my not prepared properly. Um, but it was a new halter I was given. And so my window just closed on me. And here we go again. And I just try to control her. And just let her have her fun and do her little thing. And, uh, it, but as you notice, of course, she went back. She went back to the corner. She went, and that she's found that to be her comfort zone now. She, it's kind of strange. Most colts will go back to their mama, but this one's pretty independent little filly, so uh, she she just she found more comfort in that area where she's standing right now, and so I'm just letting her stand there, and I'm backing away from her for the simple fact that I don't want to get kicked, and a kick could come at any time, and I'm just keeping my distance from her. Now I finally get this halter ready, and but uh, I don't think my little filly's ready yet, so we're just going to have to continue to play with her for a little bit here. And let her throw her tantrum again and, and get more comfortable. And we'll uh, we just have to wait it out. It's a lot of patience. These little fillies take, and little colts, young colts, they take lots of patience. If you don't want to hurt one, just be patient with them. They'll give you the time. See, there you go. It gives me the time. You know, but you, you have to give her the time also. <clears throat> My rope kind of got stuck there a little bit. It got a little bit too low on her. But, I mean... Everything's a lesson. She's got to feel that rope around her. If, if this little filly ever gets a rope on her, she's not going to freak out so much uh, as somebody as a, as another horse or another little colt that's never had a rope on her, uh, because this one's already felt the rope. That could save her life someday. And she's getting real, real nice and comfortable right there. I'm getting real comfortable with her, and she's still got a little fight in her doesn't trust me quite as much as I wish she would but we don't always get what we like and here we finally getting a little bit more control a little more control she lets me come into her <clears throat> you see her neighbor there who's been running back and forth up and down the pen is kind of let me give her a little bit of a rub and here we go she's rubbing rubbing and I'm trying to get into her I'm trying to get into her space here I'm just trying to to really get her relaxed and let her get real, real nice and comfortable with me so I can slide this halter up on her nose there. And since I've already kind of used the rope a little bit, she's all right with that. And I'm just going to walk with her right now with that halter. And I had an assistant right there helping me, the owner of this little colt. And we got that halter in there and she's pretty happy and everything's 